In this video, we're going to introduce the differential. The differential is really just another way of viewing the linearization. So let's start by stating a goal. Suppose we have a function. And this function is defined maybe on the entire real number line, but we only know what the function is on some interval. So on this interval, we know what the function is. It's defined out here, but we don't know how. Let's say we have some value that isn't in the interval, but is kind of close to the interval. And we ask, at this value, what is the function doing? We have no way of answering that question exactly, but we do now have a way of approximating an answer, which is to use the linearization. Remember that the linearization is just a new word or new phrase for the tangent line. We draw the tangent line at this point, And we use that tangent line to approximate this value we're interested in. The differential is just this with a few new symbols thrown in. I'm going to use this segment of the tangent line to draw in a right triangle like so. I'm also going to label some things. That's that. The rightmost endpoint of this interval where the function is known be called x sub zero. And that this horizontal distance be called delta x. This value we're looking at is then x sub zero plus delta x. And our goal, restated a little, is to approximate f of x sub zero plus delta x. And we've already done that using the tangent line and the linearization. At least graphically, we've done that. I haven't written an approximation down. Let me call this vertical distance delta y. And should have made stuff a bit bigger. But here is f of x sub zero. So here's f of x sub zero. And this 
is f of x sub zero plus delta y. And that is our approximation. f of x sub zero plus delta x is approximately f of x sub zero plus delta y. However, now I'm going to play with this a little. The slope of this tangent line, by definition, is the derivative. The tangent line is the line that has the derivative as its slope. But the slope of a line is also the rise over the run. So the derivative equals the rise over the run, delta y over delta x. Multiplying both sides of this equality by delta x, f prime of x sub zero delta x equals delta y and our approximation becomes f of x0 plus delta x is approximately f of x sub zero plus delta y times f prime of x sub zero. And these deltas get their own names. Delta x and delta y are called differentials. And I just realized that in my written notes, I used slightly different notation. So let me make sure that doesn't cause any confusion. In my written notes, instead of delta x and delta y, I use dx and dy. So in my written notes, you're going to see this. And then the differentials are these. So either way, those are the differentials. And the differentials are commonly used in error estimation. I mean, these are technically just another way of thinking of linearizations, but they're generally used differently. And we'll discuss that in the next video and set of notes.